In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I used ChatGPT and a genetic analysis tool called Vahaduo to explore my ancestry using Global 25, a data set built from genetic coordinates of both modern and ancient populations around the world. With ChatGPT's help, I built a custom data set that included reference groups from regions like the Southern Levant, Italy, Eastern Europe, and ancient civilizations such as the Israelites and Etruscans. Then I uploaded my own Global 25 DNA coordinates into Vahaduo and ran several, several models to see how my ancestry matched up with these populations. The results gave me a clear, detailed picture of my roots and revealed the genetic signature that defines the Ashkenazi Jewish population. According to the model, I'm 100% Ashkenazi Jewish. That means all of my ancestry clusters within the typical Ashkenazi range, a unique population that formed through a blend of Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, and European lineages. Around 40% of my ancestry comes from the Levant and broader Middle East, specifically regions that include modern-day Israel, Judea and Samaria, and Western Jordan. This reflects ancient Jewish roots that go back to the early Israelite period, well over 2,000 years ago. Around another 40% of my ancestry comes from Italy, including northern, central, and southern parts. This likely reflects the period after the Roman conquest of Judea, when many Jews migrated, or were taken, into Roman territory. Over time, Jewish communities in Italy mixed with local Mediterranean populations, while preserving their cultural identity. The remaining 10-15% to 15 comes from Eastern Europe, mostly places like Poland and Ukraine. This represents the more recent phase of Ashkenazi history during the Middle Ages, when Jewish communities settled and grew across the Slavic world. I also saw minor signals from France, North Africa, and the Iranian Plateau, regions that may reflect shared ancient ancestry, historic trade routes, or small-scale intermarriage over generations. There was also a very small trace of Native American DNA, which is likely just st a statistical noise or a very ancient signal shared by multiple populations. To go further, I ran a model using ancient reference populations. In that version, over 85% of my ancestry was modeled as a blend of ancient Israelites and Etruscans, two populations that together represent the Levantine and Mediterranean genetic foundations of Ashkenazi Jews. The remaining portion aligned with steppe-influenced Eastern European groups, which makes sense given centuries of Jewish life in Slavic regions. What stood out to me most was how these tools work together. ChatGPT helped me build and interpret the data set with historical context, while Vahaduo turned that data into clear visual models and percentages. Together, they showed a powerful story, one of continuity from the ancient hills of Judea, through the Roman Empire, into medieval Europe, and right up to today. If you're curious about your own ancestry, I really recommend giving this a try. You don't have to be a scientist. Just bring your curiosity and the right tools will help you unlock your story. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you've done something similar. There's so much more to discover when you explore your roots.